Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with brand new release, just dropped yesterday. Panini Diamond Kings Baseball 2020 edition. 12 box inner, second half of the case we popped open yesterday, last night. This is break number four. Early bird special as well, no vet common ship as usual. Early bird special. If you're one of the first 20 people to buy spots, you can win an extra spot. So that's in a separate dice roll. Let's do that. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a three, nine times for this list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Good luck and congrats to Brian Zeller after nine times BZ with the extra spot. So the early bird catches the worm, as the saying goes. So let's copy the names here, and then let's assign you a team. All 30 teams are in. New dice roll. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it three times, two and a one. One, two, three. After three, we got Brandon down to Juan. Two and a one, three times four. Oh, no teams in here. Come on, Joe. Day two of the MLB draft is going to happen tonight, too. So there's all 30 teams in three times. One, two, and three. After three times, we've got the Baltimore Orioles down to the Boston Red Sox. All right, and let's get this going here. Get that popped open there. All right. So Brandon with the O's, Keon with the A's, Brian with the Tigers, Darren with the Yankees, Alan with the Brew Crew, Jake with the Rays, Steve Birch with the White Sox, Tyler Brenner, you got the fight in Phils, Oscar with the Angels, Derek with the Giants, Brian with the Mariners, Matt Gomes with the Braves, Juan with the Mets, Brandon with the Astros, David Bruins with the Diamondbacks, Barry Roberts with the Blue Jays, David Bruins with the Marlins, Brian Zeller with the Rangers, Zach with the Cardinals, Steve with the Padres, Brian with your early bird spot, the Chicago Cubs. Oscar with the Royals, Darren with the Indians and the Rockies, Oscar with the Twins, Darren with the Nats, Rick with the Reds, Derek G, you got my Dodgers right here, Richard, last spot mojo star next to your name, you have the Pirates, and Juan with the Boston Red Sox. All right, so let's get all that on one page. Let's sort by column B, by team. I'm going to pause the video really quick, and when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals, no deals are done here in random team number four, but thanks, everyone, for for getting into the action. I marked that RT4, but in the video yesterday, I marked that R for the right side inner case. So let's pop this guy open. Let's work through these 12 boxes. Should be a lot of... Uh, should be a lot of good stuff here. I like the... Uh, I like the Diamond Kings this year, ladies and gentlemen. It's a... Wallet friendly price point, relatively speaking. Some some solid hit opportunities in here. We've seen some train whistles. We've seen some old school guys, some new school guys. I, li I like the artwork in this. I always like the artwork in like Court Kings and Great Iron Kings and Diamond Kings and all that. So. Some good stuff. And I think one important thing they did in Diamond Kings was I think in sometimes in previous years, they're solid, but sometimes you could argue ah, a little busy. You know, there's they're, they're trying to do too much or try to add too many inserts and stuff like that. But I think they cleaned that up really nicely. So I think they, I think they kind of trimmed the fat off of this, uh, off of this set. You know, tightened up some things, strengthened some of the strong suits of this product, and, and I think it's a pretty sharp product.
got day two of the MLB draft here as well. Although MLB draft is of the of the sports has to be kind of the most boring. Right? I mean, I'm a baseball fan, so I like it, but. It's a little rough because, I mean, you're kind of not going to see these guys for a few years. So it's sort of an out of sight, out of mind sort of thing. But if you invest in these guys in Bowman Draft later this year, and, and if they hit, the return on investment could be pretty huge. All right, first hit of the day is Frank Thomas, Jersey Kings. To 25 for the White Sox. Steve Birch with that. Trust me, she'll like it too. Big hurt. Game more material up there. In the NBA, NFL, you know, you're able to see those guys almost immediately later that season. Baseball, you got to wait a little bit. Trent Grisham, dual relic and autograph for the San Diego Padres. That's going to go to Steve Birch. First two hits of the day. There you go. Box two. Yeah, I think generally speaking, how for for like rookies, for rookies you're gonna see a lot of player war material. But for vets and retired players, you're gonna see game used more often. Although I think in baseball, maybe even prospects, maybe they get some of their minor league jerseys so you can't get some game worn out of there. But for basketball and football, rookies are almost always going to be player or, yeah, event worn. And then the veterans are usually going to be game worn. Baseball might be a little bit different. Baseball, they might be able to get, get these guys in their minor league jerseys or spring training jerseys or something like that. Make it game one. Pete Alonzo, Jersey Kings relic for uh, for Pete, going to the Mets, Juan with the Mets. Sam Rice, frame. See the. They used to, they, they used to put too many frames in this, but now, now that there's not a lot, it kind of looks really special. It looks it looks pretty cool. Ooh, Dodger prospect right here, 39 out of 99, two color dual relic Edwin Rios. Maybe, maybe borderline borderline starter maybe if the Dodgers weren't so deep. It's a nice one for Derek G. Talking, he might he might be able to crack the club this year. And Ken Griffey Jr. right here, next box.
Wow, Matt Vaskurgeon going rounds two through five. And we got old Orlando Zapata, a piece of his lumber. For the Giants, my rivals, Derek Melanson with San Francisco. Here's Ken Griffey Jr. in that old DK206 design is what they call it. Old tobacco card design. And we got Joe Palumbo, dual relic and autograph. Rangers, Texas Rangers, that'll be for Brian Zeller. We've seen some of these number or uh, autograph too. So we can keep an eye out for that. I think there is a downtown card that should be generally falls one per inner case, so I think we can still look out for those as well. We just haven't seen that yet. All right, next box. Good luck. Gabe, what's going on? How are you? right there. There's his deal. AJ Puck, nice dual relic and autograph for Oakland. That'll be for Keon. Doing good, Gabe. We're just hanging, watching the draft, breaking some baseball. Dylan Zingler from Ohio State, catcher for the Tigers take. That, look, that looks different, right? There's Alex Bregman for the Strohs. That's going to go to Brandon Walker. Is that a different insert? I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen this. Hmm. 
Mm, goes to the Cubs. Brian Zeller with that. We'll set that aside just in case it's a special short print or something like that. Next box. Yeah, the Tigers rebuilding here. Speaking of which, there's Miggy right there, 15 out of 25. That goes to the Tigers. Brian Zeller with the Tigers. They're currently rebuilding as we speak. There's Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. That's going to go to Brandon Walker. Hudson Haskin going to the O's. Next box. Yeah, do it, Gabe. Open up, open up. If you're sitting at home, folks, open up some packs. Watch the MLB draft. Make it a make it a chill Thursday. Not much else we can do. A lot of people are stuck indoors or working from home or no school happening in the summertime. So. There's a lot of college college guys being drafted, I feel like. Maybe more than usual. Uh, the good thing is we'll, we'll be able to see these college players end up in the majors, hopefully a little bit earlier. Draft is a little weird this year. Yeah, what's up, Jeffy? Bill Mosher saying PS5 looks dope. Someone, someone else was mentioning the PS5 earlier today, too. What's the, what's the deal? Like, what's... I mean, what what's dope about it? It's just just dope. I mean, why? Does it have like? A, can I plug it into my brain? Like, what's new about it? Here's Kyle Lewis. But what's under the hood? Kyle Lewis going to the Brian Zeller. I mean, is it, there's a bigger stuff. Faster processor inside. Can I? It's probably just like iPhone users, you know, you just get the new one. <laughs> just gotta get the new one? The controller's different. Yeah, it does look better. But the, oh, alright. I'm sure the graphics are like freaking up, kind of crazy now. 
I have to buy new games, you know, because... That, that's how they get you. That's how they get you, yeah. Not backwards compatible, right? Then you gotta be like, oh, gotta buy these $60 games all over again. There's Elson Howard to 49. And we've got a Justin Verlander, Astros quad relic, going to Brandon Walker. There's so much to like about this young man. I really like him, and if he wasn't hurt, I do believe this is a day one game. The PS5 has a completely digital edition? I mean, that's why I said in the open when we were talking about I don't know. I'm not, I'm not serious enough of a, of a gamer to get into the PS5 systems. Is that VR? I've got a, I've got a Nintendo Switch, and I'm good with that. Playing, playing my Pokemon games and Mario Kart. VR, will we be breaking cards? Wow. Well, I'm still I'm still on on Jaspie's getting getting our own eye racing rig. We're gonna work on that, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe sell 50 more of these Diamond Kings cases and put all the Diamond Kings profits to uh, our eye racing gig rig, and then get an eye racing gig, and then become become NASCAR stars. AJ Puck, dual relic and autograph. I'm looking forward to seeing him in action. That goes to Keon with the A's. Jake DeGrom, quad relic, for uh, I think Juan and the Mets, yeah, Juan has the Mets, and I don't think I've seen this card either, this, uh, this must be a short print, that's Josh Bell, pixel art, speaking of video games, look at that, got some of that old 8-bit video game look right here, press start. That'll go to the Pirates. That'll be for Richard. Last spot mojo. I don't know how short printed those are, but I think it's the first one I've ever seen. And we've done, this is our fourth case here. We're over halfway through our fourth case. All right, next box. A little over halfway through this case, folks. Got about another 25, 30 minutes to go. I don't think anything sold out at the moment. I see orders coming in, but nothing sold out at the moment, I feel like. So let's get something going. That cello pack to get into the NT team random is pretty close. 
Looks like uh, that select mini break to get into Diamond Icons is getting closer. So keep chipping away at it and we'll get some stuff going. Seattle taking Zach Deloche, Texas outfielder, Texas A&M. We got Eloy Jimenez, piece of his bat. That's going to go to Steve Birch and the White Sox. White Sox can... Think about the White Sox. That's a team that could suddenly get scary real fast. I mean, how scary is the AL Central? It could get got, right? I think with their their youngsters, they can they can put a decent team together, a pretty competitive team together, really quickly. I think that organization's not too afraid. Nice Forrest Whitley. There you go, to 99 for the Astros. I don't think the White, White Sox aren't afraid to spend money, right? They like to spend. They've spent. They don't pretend they're a small team. Now, Lucas Giolito, Dallas Keuchel, Gio Gonzalez, Dylan Cease, Ronaldo Lopez. Still have Carson Fulmer coming back from injury. Oh, they have him in the bullpen on, on the MLB.com checklist here. Checklist. Depth chart. They got Alex Colome as a closer. Maybe the Steve Shizik, Kelvin Herrera. They got some... Guys in the bullpen, they got Yasmani Grandal. They got still have Jose Abreu. Some Edwin Encarnacion still on that team, so they got some older guys. They got young guys, they got Nick Madrigal. Luis Robert might be coming up in a year or two. Yoan Mancada is still there. Remember, he was a huge prospect for the Red Sox. Tim Anderson I like a lot. Then there's Eloy Jimenez. Right? Oh, they got Luis Robert up in the center field in the depth chart. Lurie Garcia, Adam Engel, solid guys. They picked up Nomar Mazzara. He could benefit from a little change of scenery. Think about that. That's not a bad team right there. You know, if those young guys marinate a little bit and keep improving season to season, they add a couple more people, free agent-wise. That could be a scary team really quick. team to watch out for. And who's 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 the threat in the AL Central? Twins for sure. They gotta improve that pitching though. Um, but the Royals are definitely rebuilding. They look like they're look, look, looking like they're having a good draft though. Tigers are rebuilding. Indians are kind of in a weird middle ground. Then you got the White Sox. There you go. Yeah, Twins have to. Twins got to work on that pitching staff, though. It's, they definitely have the hitting. I mean, uh, outside of Jose Barrios, who I like a lot, I mean, Jake Odorizzi, Kenta Maeda, Homer Bailey, those are like number three or four starters. 
You got number one in Jose Barrios. Barrios? Barrios. But then there's really no 1B. There's no number two starter. Bunch of number three, four, five starters. But, you know, I like Mitch Garver, Astudio, Sano, Luis Reyes, Marwin Gonzalez, I thought was a good pickup last year. They got Josh Donaldson on that team. Polanco's solid. Eddie Rosario, I love. Young guys like Jay Cave, Byron Buxton, Max Kepler. You know, Nelson Cruz is on that team. So they got some mashers, and they got some youngsters that that could still marinate and become great, but that, that pitching staff they really need to work on. That could be interesting. Twins versus White Sox, battling for the division for the next five, seven years. Hey, that's La Mirada's around here. Jared Jones, going to Pittsburgh. Here's Mike Trout. Piece of his jersey going to the Halos. That'll be for Oscar. Hey, that's where I went to college. Patrick Sandoval, dual relic and autograph. That is also for the Halo. So Oscar with the Angels. All right, three boxes to go. Yeah, Matt Hedges. Yeah, let's fill some NFL breaks. I'm down. Yeah, I really want baseball to come back. So you hear the Cardinals owner or president or whatever, or the son of the owner or whatever, DeWitt, who was just like, oh, baseball's not profitable, you know, poor us, you know, like, but then sell the team. Why are you in a non-profitable business? You know, I, lo I love it when owners cry poor. Oh, woe is me. Sell the team then. If it's such, it's, if baseball so not profitable, they won't, because it is profitable. All right, here we go. Matt Fast-Gurgeon, are we going to take a break here? If the picks are coming in every two minutes. Another Mike Trout jersey for Oscar. Owen Casey for the Padres. And we've got for Tampa Bay, Randy Arozarena right here. Two color, dual relic, and autograph. God, is that a happy face in that autograph in there? There you go, Jake with the Rays. Jake from State Farm with the Rays. When's Jake Fromm going to get that State Farm money? Yeah, uh, 
All right, two boxes to go. MLB has countered a counter proposal. Apparently, Commissioner says we're going to play baseball. I think I saw on the MLB ticker that that Manfred was saying. Manfred was saying that the. Uh, Took all of the concerns that the players had in their last bit of feedback and then countered with a proposal. Let's see what happens. MLB.com says, history says don't sleep on fifth round picks. Now the draft, of course, was shortened down significantly to five rounds due to COVID, but from 40 rounds down to five, which is kind of wild. I thought that was more aggressive than it needed to be, but I suppose they have their reasons. Yeah, Mookie Betts was a fifth round guy. There's Ricky Henderson. Quad relic and autograph. Nice hit for the A's. The man of steel. Keon K with the A's. I am the greatest of all time. And there is the inner case hit. It's Yachty. A little a dent on that edge right there. But a nice inner case hit. They seem to be case hits. They generally fall one per case. So far, we've seen one of these in every case. If you've never been to downtown St. Louis, that's exactly what it looks like. That goes to the Cardinals. That'll be for Zach Paul. What's going on here? Oh, I guess this is, are these World's Fair references in St. Louis? Joe Sewell. I mean, you guys remember, the, you guys remember the, the World's Fair? In St. Louis? I remembers that. As featured in the documentary, Meet Me in St. Louis. Why 40 rounds, Gabe? Think about all the all the teams you have to field. How many players does each minor league team have? 40? There's A.J. Puck. You have your rookie ball team, 40 players on that team, single A, low A, high A, single A, double A, triple A, and the big club. So do seven times 40 on that. I don't know if every minor league team has 40-man rosters, but even if you have 30 people on that team, 20 people on it, you've got to carry at least, got to carry at least 30, right? So start doing that math, and you realize why ball clubs need to draft 40 players every year. Dylan Cease. Because you're right, not not all these players are going to make it. So there's always players just retiring early or dropping out or being released or being traded or 
you know, maybe having an unfortunate injury that ends their young baseball career. You gotta gotta draft forty players every year. Which is crazy, and that's why I, I was a little surprised they dropped the baseball round from forty down to down to uh, five down to five rounds. That seemed really. I thought they would. I thought they would do 10, 15, 20 rounds. Right, yeah. Look at uh look at where Mike Piazza was drafted, Gabe. Remember the old old Mets Dodgers catcher Mike Piazza, Hall of Fame catcher? Look where he was drafted. Doesn't happen all the time, but you still have to fill out rosters. Jake Arrieta, another fifth rounder, according to MLB.com. Max Muncy was a fifth rounder. Brandon Belt, Chris Davis with a C. Fifth rounder, Samarja, Chris Archer, Reese Hoskins, Chris Taylor. Were these guys all fifth rounders? Wow. So, yeah, there's a value in that fifth round. Past stars, Tim Raines was a fifth rounder. Jack Morris, Lou Whitaker, Dwight Evans, Dave Steeb. Remember Dave Steeb? John Franco, Ryan Howard, Pat, Pat Hentgen. Javier Vasquez, Michael Young, Joe Girardi, Amos Otis, Ray Durham. Remember Ray Durham? Brett Boone, John Valentin, Mickey Tettleton. Those are all fifth rounders. There's value in that fifth round. That's the crazy thing about baseball. That's what makes baseball prospecting so fun because of so many rounds and so many players that can, that can make it, you know? And then if you're the person with that... With that rookie card that you happen to hang on to and keep in your drawer, and then all of a sudden you're like, wait a second, thousand dollar card now. There's Zach Gallon, two color dual relic and autograph for David Bruins and the Snakes Diamondbacks on the board. Here in our last box, random team four, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Schmidt's kid? Maybe not. There's Mookie Betts for the Dodgers. Piece of his lumber. Hopefully we can see his lumber this season. I think we will a little bit. Mm, Two-way player for Casey Schmidt. Derek G with the Dodgers. I think that's our second and final hit of the break. Thanks, everyone. Unless we see like a numbered card here or something like that. No, we got a Brian Abreu frame, George Brett, and a Craig Biggio all-time Diamond Kings insert. And there you go. Let's do a quick recap here, boys and girls, of Random Team 4. Sort of a lengthy break. Deserves a recap. Not too shabby. Love the love the downtown cards. The Ricky Henderson was cool. A lot of game used material here. Pixel art, the short print. There was that Chris Bryant short print that I hadn't seen before in all the boxes that we've opened up. So that looked different from all the regular base cards. A couple AJ Pucks in the mix. Nice Edwin Rios, Pete Alonzo jersey, Trent Grisham, and we started off with a nice out of twenty five Frank Thomas jersey Kings. Relic. Game worn. There you go. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.